Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn how to create the text box at runtime in Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. So let's get started. So in this example, we will create first a form because we have to do everything in form as usual. And now we'll resize this. In this example, we will create three text box. First will be the first name, second will be the last name, and in the third, we will declare the result of the first and second text box, which is the concatenation of the first name and last name. So what is special in this program is that we will create the text box at the runtime. So we will first create our three labels. This will be for our first name. We will create a second label. This will be for our last name. And then we will create a third, which will be for our full name. And we will do everything on a click of a command. So a command button, we will name it done. And now what you have to do, we will code on directly on the coding screen. So we have to do first, because you can see we have to declare three text boxes. We will need three object of text box. So we will write dim t1 text box 1 this is user defined you can use it whatever you want as and text box we will do the same thing for t2 as text box and for the 3 t3 because we have to declare three text boxes so text box now when we run our program this text box should come automatically so we will write on the form load so on the coding screen choose form and from here choose load now here we will write on the form load so what you have to do you have to use a specific syntax so we have to do according to a syntax so the syntax is the keyword set then the name of the object which is t1 equals to because it's a control we will use the keyword controls dot we will use the add function and then in the bracket we have to show the method name which is vb dot text box close the double quote and now we will write the name of the object which was t1 and done with this syntax we have created our first object now we have to set the positions so there, there are two positions only first use to top and then left because if we directly created and then this will be created somewhere here and we don't want we want it here so what we will do we will set the position to the top of the first label so in the coding we will set t1 name of the object dot top equals to because this is our label one we will say do the same thing we will use the label one dot top now it will be set at the same level of the first name and then we will set our left so the left will be set according to the so we have to set the left property left property is basically the distance from the beginning of the form so we have to set this and we will set this the width of this label box plus 10 so that there will be some spaces down here we'll use t1 dot left equals to label one dot width plus 10 now we will set the visible property to true so that it will we can see this and now true now when we will run the program there should be a box text box in our dim t3s text box sorry because i have now when we run the program there should be a box so as you can see there is a text box we will do this three times so that we can get a text box all of them so we'll just copy and paste so we'll copy this whole c and then we'll paste it two times Control V and then paste it again. Now what you have to just you have, as you know you have to change this T1 as T2. Here will your T2. Wherever you see one, you have to set it two because this is our second text box. So we'll use two. And for the same for the label, you have to do the same thing. Same thing. And now for the third time, we will do the T3. 3 3 and 3 once again and here we will write 
label 3 and label 3 and name will be 3 so now we will run our program and see what will be the output so as you can see there are three text boxes created but now we have to write something on the command buttons click so we will write the coding on the command button click here private sub command button click what we will write we have to just write t3 dot text because we have to concate our text 1 and text 2 so we will write t1 dot text and we will concat this with a space because there should be a space and now concat again and we will write t2 dot text now we will run our program and see the output yes first we will enter a name we will write chirag second we will write kaushik and now when you press the done chirag kaushik is printed in the third text box. this is how you can create any control at runtime this is an example i will post more videos on how to create more controls thanks for watching if you like the video please press the like button go subscribe for more thank you